Hello and welcome to the News from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Debia Palace and Secretary General Iyasa Al Nasser delivered the following statement. The cabinet praised the outcomes of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in meeting with the President of the Seychelles, Danny Four, and welcomed the agreement signed, which will contribute to further enhancing the cooperation between the two countries. The Cabinet then praised the results of the Fine Arts Exhibition, which was patronised by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, which aims to encourage Bahraini talents and enhance the status of the Kingdom on a global level. The Cabinet hailed the youth and sports achievements in the Kingdom, highlighting recent accomplishment in the Dhaka Rally in Saudi Arabia. On the occasion of International Day for Education, the Cabinet praised the efforts of the Government to develop the educational march of the Kingdom, enhance quality and achieve sustainable development goals. The Cabinet congratulated Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi for the inauguration of the Bernice military base, hailing Egypt's efforts in enhancing the military achievements. The Cabinet condemned the Houthis' terrorist attacks on a mosque in Yemen which killed tens of people and injured many others. As per all directives to plan and execute the national project of food and self-sufficiency practices, the Cabinet discussed what has been accomplished so far and followed up on its progress. The Cabinet praised the positive efforts of reducing the financial deficit, of preserving economic growth and creating job opportunities. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak praised the efforts of the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs in following up on the recommendations and decisions that have been referred to the Cabinet. Details about Bahrain's economic performance were discussed during the meeting as well. The Cabinet discussed a number of projects that were being carried out by the Electricity and Water Authority in order to implement the Government Plan for Financial Sustainability and Economic Development, which includes numerous measures, including the development of the electricity grid, building a control and monitoring centre, and improving the efficiency of lighting. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution to add five new services for jobs that require workers who work more than 11 hours per day, including electricity and water, sewage and information technology. The Cabinet also approved a draft resolution to amend decision number 25 of 2013, which governed jobs that require workers to spend more than 11 hours at the workplace. The Cabinet approved a memoranda of understanding between Bahrain and Italy in the fields of culture, education, technology, media, health, commerce, space and twinning of Manama and Rome, an exemption of visa for diplomats. The Cabinet also referred an agreement on aviation services to the Ministerial Committee on Legal and Legislative Affairs for further discussion. The Cabinet approved a draft resolution to postpone the application of annual fees on the frequency spectrum as per decision number 7 of 2017. The Cabinet noted the outcomes of participating in the Kuwait Exhibition of International Aviation by reviewing a report of the Minister of Transportation and Communication. Under the patronage of the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, the initiative at Made in Bahrain was launched today in cooperation with the Tamkeen Labour Fund, Export Bahrain, United Nations Industrial Development Organisation and the Ministry of Information Affairs in the presence of a large number of local factories. More in this report with Hiba Abdul Ghaffar. Made in Bahrain is one of the most important initiatives by the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, seeking to promote the national project in the local and regional markets and enable it globally. The very important initiatives for Bahraini manufacturers to get uh, such uh, uh, mark, which is the uh, Made in Bahrain. And that will basically mean that this manufacturer that has uh, the sign on their product uh, have 30 five percent minimum of the content of the product as local which means they can benefit from all the uh, incentives uh, the ministry provide and the uh, uh, export Bahrain provide and on top of that they can uh, make uh, capitalize on the FTA with the United States and with other uh, countries Export Bahrain will support Bahraini SMEs to direct their strategy to enhance the Bahraini brand and its market quality along with the Made in Bahrain initiative to achieve the wider spread of Bahraini products and services.
Made in Bahrain is something very important for the economy because it's part of branding our products and services and ensuring that we have a platform to really communicate what Bahrain has to offer to both local and international customers. So Made in Bahrain is something very uh, is, is a very important tool that's being introduced to allow people to leverage on how they can best promote and package the marketing of their products and services. And as an initiative, it's something that I think that a lot of companies will be interested to adopt because it will help them to really um, position themselves as pure Bahrain produced content. It's very important for the Bahraini economy before the Bahraini companies. Bahraini companies has invested in Bahrain and all made by Bahraini hands and created by Bahraini youth and innovator. So we are in this stage, we are supporting the economy of Bahrain, we are supporting innovation in Bahrain. Great support and addition uh, for the SMEs in the kingdom, especially that this initiative will assist the SMEs to um, join the hypermarkets, to present their products as needed and to expand locally uh, in addition to regionally. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism pointed out that the Made in Bahrain initiative is a true addition to the industrial march and economic integration in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which aims to encourage Bahraini exports and upgrade their quality to enhance the Kingdom's position as a global industrial partner with added value, as the manufacturing sector currently represents about 14.5% of the gross domestic product, and such initiatives enhance the value of the local product in line with the economic vision 2030. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism launches today the initiative Made in Bahrain, committing to supporting local industry and innovation, moreover increasing the competitiveness of national products locally, regionally and internationally. Hiba Abdul Ghaffar, Bahrain International. The Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Justice, Abdul Hassan Abu Inin, held a press conference to showcase the Judicial Authority achievements and performance during 2019. Abu Inin said that performance indicators recorded a decrease in the annual accumulation rate of 56%. It also recorded a significant decrease in the number of applications in progress from the previous year by 80% and an increase in the discount rate in the enforcement courts. The Council will continue its cooperation with the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments in order to further develop the court's performances, improve electronic services and improve the capabilities of the private sector. Upon the Royal Directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to distribute 5,000 housing units, the Ministry of Housing announced that the distribution of the first phase units of the East Citra project has been completed. The Assistant Undersecretary of Policies and Housing Service, Dr Khaled Abdurrahman al Heldain, said that the Ministry has completed all the procedures to distribute the batch for the first stage of the housing project. He added that the Ministry has briefed the beneficiaries on the details of the project and the facilities it includes. The East Citra project is considered one of the major projects listed by the Ministry to implement the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to build 40,000 housing units and as part of the efforts to fulfil housing obligations in the government plan. Under the patronage of the first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of the Brain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness's show jumping championship concluded which was organised by the Royal Equestrian and Horse Racing Federation. The championship then included the crowning of the winners. The sponsors expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for patronising the event and praised the support of the President of the Royal Equestrian and Horse Racing Federation, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, as well as the head of the jumping committee, Sheikh Khalid bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns and denounces the terrorist attack carried out by the Iran-backed Houthi militia against a mosque in Maharib, Yemen, resulting in the death and injury of tens of people. It expresses sincere condolences to the families of the victims and wishes the injured speedy recovery. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirms that such terrorist attacks reflect the determination of the Houthi militia to continue their violent and terrorist practices, which hinder all efforts amid reaching a political solution that preserves the unity and security of Yemen and fulfills the aspiration of its people for peace and stability. The Kingdom of Bahrain welcomes the final communique of the Berlin Conference on Libya held in the Federal Republic of Germany, in which the participants agreed on a comprehensive plan to settle the crisis in Libya. 
pledge not to interfere in Libyan internal affairs and work towards the disarmament of armed groups, among other binding results and commitments, and represent an important step toward the achievement of a comprehensive political settlement. Bahrain praises the role of the Federal Republic of Germany and the keenness and participating in countries in restoring security and stability to the state of Libya. It expresses its aspirations for greater efforts for work in accordance with the Sakhira Agreement that was concluded in 2015 in the Kingdom of Morocco as the political framework that is accepted by the international community and all parties in Libya, making it a solid basis for resolving the crisis in a way that fulfills the aspirations of the brotherly Libyan people in security and stability, preserves the safety and territorial integrity of Libya and leads to the elimination of violence, extremism and terrorism in all its forms.